So congratulations for uh, the people who have started this movement, Build Your City. And um, well, when I think of uh, Chennai as a city, it is very nostalgic and it is known for its traditional identity. Every city has got an identity and uh, Chennai has got a very traditional identity and now it is mixed with, uh, you know, because of the cross migration. There is a lot of um, cross cultural um, activities and uh, people coming from other cities and other countries and the whole uh, color of the city is changing and along with it urbanization has really made it difficult for people living in Chennai for so many years, finding it very different and difficult. And um, as of today, Chennai, Chennai's lifestyle is I would say hell. And how can we make it, I mean we, how can we go back to our original Chennai, which would be very difficult, but still you know all of us, all citizens can try and uh, basically we have to create an awareness about civic sense to every individual in the city, which means it is a, it's a link from the citizen to the NGOs, to the corporates and to the government agencies. I think this link has to be there if anything has to be successful. We need all the support and uh, the first and foremost, uh, foremost uh, change that has to take place is on our roads and our waste management and the waste management has to start right from our homes and that is where the civic awareness comes and uh, our homes have to be the first, uh, I think the first space where the whole thing starts and fr from there to the main neighborhood where we can form organizations like Exnora is doing a brilliant job and they are really successful, the same model can be taken for and of course they are also doing uh, um, certain things in those lines, but we can make it even more like we can concentrate on the infrastructure and how the roads are laid. Citizens can take more responsibility in laying the roads properly and make sure that the roads are laid properly or just refuse to accept and have some kind of a demonstration where the roads will be corrected and not accepted as it is given to us. Because today our uh, expectation unfortunately is so very low. For example, if we go on a road and we find a ditch on the road and tomorrow if the, uh, the local people have just filled it up with some rubbles, we are happy about it and that is uh, the least we expect uh, people responsible to do and that is what is happening to all of us today and that is the mindset which has to change that we are accepting things as it is and if we, some, if we see some little bit of improvement we are just happy with that and we think oh okay something is done but I think we should get the best. We are paying taxes and we are all educated and we should, it is not only for the educated people, we should, the educated people should create awareness among the uneducated people and the, um, the people uh, in uh, less advantaged positions and bring everybody together. I think this is a people's movement and unless all the people from all walks of life and all cross sections of society come together and feel passionate about it, this, this may take a back seat and uh, we should not be faced with a problem like uh, Surat where you know uh, something like a um, calamity like a, or a epidemic like a plague had to happen for them to sit up and get the city cleaned. So being an educationist, I think the institutions play a very big role. Again, being one of the links with the citizens, the um, NGOs, the government agencies and the corporates and the institutions because institutions is where the awareness has to be created and continued. They should take part in uh, civic uh, activities. The students should take part uh, in the school level as well as the college level because we have so many um, organizations and associations like uh, NSS and the Rotract and many other heritage clubs and so many various organizations and associations which can you know uh, give a lot of support to the institutions as well as the students to um, uh, create a movement among the students 
it has to be supported by uh, corporates as well as uh, by NGOs, but the students will play a very big role and I am sure that will create a lot of impact.